Okay, today I'm going to introduce you to the new Vado HD software. Um, it's a software that you install on your computer so that you can transfer your video files um, pretty seamlessly to your computer now over to iMovie um, and even over to YouTube, Photobucket, and Box.net. Um, for a long time, the one of the only downfalls, in my opinion, of the Creative Vado is um, was the fact that transferring files was a little bit difficult. But Vado have unveiled this fantastic software and have even just updated it. Um, I think it was at the end of October that allows you to transfer your files very easily. Um, so I'll just show you today. So if you need that new software, if you've got a Creative Vado HD and you need the new software for the Mac OS, um, just go to myvado.com and you'll see in the right hand sidebar that um, you can download the um, the package to install that to your computer and that's all completely free. So uh, let me just show you a little bit of how it works. So I've plugged in my Vado to my USB port, really simple, and opened up the Vado Central application that looks like this, that looks like a globe in your um, in your dock. So all your videos that you have on your pocket cam show up here as thumbnails and you scroll through until you find the one that you want. I've got still quite a few videos on here from weddings and, and whatnot. Um, and uh, I'll grab some video that I took this morning when I was out for my run. So if you look at this one, vid 146, I took a video of the sunrise because I didn't have my camera with me. Now what's fantastic in this new software is that you can actually take screen grabs screen grabs of uh, so you can get some pictures out of your video and it's really easy so what you do is you click on the video that you want so I've clicked on this one here and then you play and as you're playing you can pause it um, and you can use the, the bar here and scrub backwards and forward and find the exact shot that you want and what you can do if you've got a long enough clip, this clip is only about five seconds, so I won't use it, but this button here says snap up to 30 consecutive photos. So that would be really good if you took sort of a one minute video or even 50 seconds, 30 second video, you'd get 30 consecutive photos if you click that button. But for our purposes, because I've only taken about six seconds here, I'll just snap one photo from the video with this button. And then I can just save that somewhere. I'll save it on the desktop. Ooh, where are we? Save it on the desktop here. And I'll just save it as Sunrise. Click Save. And then I can move it forward some more and save another one if I want. But um, because it was such a short video, there's pretty much not too much to grab out of that. And let's save it. Whoops, I have to, sorry, replace the first one because it was the same name. So that's how you grab a photo, really simple. And then when you just shut that down, press the X, and you still have your video there. So now I can either grab that video, bring it across to YouTube, just enter my username and password, and log in. And that will pipe it straight up to YouTube. Or I can do the same with Photo Bucket, same thing just have to log in, or the same with box.net. Um, I can show you the 30 videos in a row if you'd like to see that. Or, or what I'll do actually is I'll just show you as well that you can, if you click on the iMovie icon, you can bring it across to something. Uh, you can just name it Project 2 and press OK, and you've got a message here that if iMovie is already open, you'll need to relaunch it. But if you press OK here, iMovie will open up, and your thumbnails will automatically be in there, and you can start cutting and adding music and whatever else you want to do in iMovie. Okay, I hope that helps you figure out how to use the Vado on the Mac OS. Thanks.